Now, for some, it was the first time they've sung in public. For others, it was one of many. But for all, it was a part of the journey of mastering their vocal skills. And for two lucky singers, the Express Yourself Vocal Competition held over the weekend was also making them winners. Welcome, Karen Weiss, to tell us more about the Arts Express event and the winner of the competition, Danielle McInnes, and runner-up, Elena Baker. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. I know the event was just over the weekend. I'm sure you guys are still full of uh, adrenaline from it. Uh, Karen, let's kind of do a wrap-up of the event um, and tell everybody what it's really all about. Well, Arts Express has been doing the Express Yourself Vocal Competition now for five years. And we have a great partner. We do it with Main Gate Square Merchants and the Marshall Foundation. And it's a vocal competition that's American Idol style, but for ages 8 to 23. Um, so it's a great way for them to be able to get up and perform in a kind of laid back atmosphere, but yet seriously judged. And they get great feedback from the judges that they can use um, going forward. And we also provide opportunities for the students to be able to get out and perform in our community, just like on the morning blend. And I know we uh, are, we're at the final end result, but I kind of want to see what it took to get here. What was the criteria that the judges really used in trying to find the winner? They look at all sorts of things like stage presence, um, they also look at um, vocal quality, um, including tone and pitch and rhythm um, and that kind of thing. And then they also make sure that they're picking the right kind of song for their voice um, and that they're matching their, their voice with um, the song that they choose. Did you guys really hear like different genres uh, of music being sung? We have three different genres, so we heard things all over the yeah. map. Um, we have um, one genre is um, pop, country, R&B, and jazz. Then we have classical, music, opera, um, musical theater, and then we have a write your own category as well. Oh, wow. Well, so I'm curious, uh, since we have all those different genres, what did you guys decide to sing for the competition? We both chose to sing musical theater. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yes. <laughs> so that must have been the uh, magic uh, thing yeah. to do. Uh, what did you each sing? I personally sang One Kiss and The Light in the Piazza. And I know you're going to be singing One Kiss for us mm -hmm. in a moment, which is amazing. And what about you? I sing Climb Every Mountain and then also Listen by Beyonce. And was it uh, pretty awesome to be a part of this event or was this the first time you guys have, have been a part of this? This is actually my third time in the event and it's placing. <laughs> and placing. And this is my second time. Second time. Well, this is good. I'm sure you guys, you know, make friends. You guys see a lot of, of the, you know, same faces. We, of course, know uh, Karen is a great part of this. And so, do you guys, have you always been singing? How long have you been singing? Because some people say, I've been singing since I came out. Like, this is just, you know, how it is. And some people, this is a brand new thing. Uh, how, when did you know you had a voice? I started singing around third grade when wow. I started musical theater, which is actually late in the game. And I've been continuing voice lessons through freshman year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Um, well, the first time my parents probably heard me sing when I was four. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've always loved music, but um, I started vocal lessons when I was eight, and I really hadn't gotten out there to perform until I was about 12. And since then, I've been trying to take as many opportunities as I can. Wow, that's so amazing. You know, even my mother tells me, no, don't sing. Don't sing. Even my mother tells me that. So I have such an admiration for people that can do that. Before I have you sing, kind of tell me what it felt like uh, to hear that you were the big winner. It was quite surprising yeah. because I know musical theater is no way something that's widely accepted uh, and people are really drawn to the pop so it was very exciting to know that both of us using musical yeah. theater rebel to get some recognition for the beautiful art form. Uh, looking at the big picture what mm -hmm. a, a great stance to take on that. I know we're going to hear you sing in just mm -hmm. a moment but congratulations to both of you Thank guys you. <laughs> and I know we're going to be doing this again and I'm going to let everybody know how they can get some more information about Arts Express in general but thank you guys so much for being here. Awesome thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You guys to learn more about Arts Express and their incredible programs call 319-0400 or log on to arts-express.org. Now here is Danielle McInnes singing for us. 